couple of questions that I get all the time and it's making me crazy. The first question is, are we in decline? Well, from 1944 to 1950, the United States, with some cooperation from others, put together the international institutions and the regional institutions, which have served us all so well for 70 years. And for 17 years, from 1991 until 2008, we had 17 years of unparalleled influence after the, the, the wall came down and the Soviet Union dissolved. So, relatively, we are relatively not as strong as we once were, but in terms of our overall power, we have power, prestige, influence, and clout beyond that known in the history of the world. And we can even use that wisely or well, these tools, gifts, but we can use them foolishly and badly, and as far as I'm concerned, not engaging is every bit as irresponsible as an indiscriminate intervention when our very important equities are not at risk. So, relatively, we may not be on top as we were. We'll be sharing this stage with China to some extent, but make no mistake, this is not a nation in decline. The second thing is, uh, oh, the world is a mess. Have you ever seen a messier world? Well, actually, yeah. yeah. The world's been a lot messier. I will grant you that power is diffused now in ways that it wasn't always. And that the great uh, national uh, leaders of the United States, Great Britain, etc., sometimes we find ourselves uh, losing sway to regional institutions. And this, this uh, is a little messy. They don't quite work with the same dispatch as the great powers do. That's also true. Social media, technology, all of these things help to, a uh, 24-hour news cycle, they help to decay power. But you know there's another side to this. Right now, you do not face an existential threat. To have an existential threat, someone has to have capability and intention to do you in. Well, China's got the capability, but they don't have the intention. Russian Federation has the capability, but they don't have the intention. ISIS, ah, they have the intention. They don't have the capability. They cannot make us change our way of life. However, we can change our way of life by an ill-thought-out response to them. Let's keep it, get a grip. There have been 3,100 or so Americans killed since 9-11 in terrorist attempts, or terrorist incidents. Each year, there are 14,300 murdered in our own country. That's been the average for the past several years. So let's get a grip. Take a deep breath and realize that right now, we don't have an existential threat. It may change. I hope not. But that is the fact today.